Well, Shauna, you might be a little mad because I get to be here with Laurent Mekius. I hope I said that right. CEO and team principal of Oracle Red Bull Racing. Laurent is leading one of the most advanced motorsport teams in the world under the Oracle banner. Laurent, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Fritz. Thanks for having us. It's an unbelievable setup you guys have here at, uh, at the AI world, and it makes us uh, remembering that there is bigger things than Formula One. <laughs> well, this weekend, there won't be much more to think about than the big race ahead. Um, you're six races into your role as CEO and, and team principal of Oracle Red Bull Racing. It's already been an exciting stretch. We've had Max on the podium three times uh, already in, in the last few races. Uh, uh, what's behind this early mid-season success? Look, I'm sure it's the same for uh, certainly your business. It's, uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work from everyone back uh, at Milton Keynes, back at base. Uh, nobody had ever uh, given up on, on these seasons. Uh, it, was, it, it, was, it was a tough, tough start of the, of the year, that's for sure. Uh, but you know, it's, uh, the guys have been pushing and pushing and trying to understand why the project was not performing at the very, very uh, highest level we were hoping for. And, and with your help, um, we, with the help of, of all the Oracle support and, and the OCI and all the tools that we have been developing, uh, the guys and the girls have been able to turn around the situations to bring more developments to the car, to unlock some of the potential that was already in the car. And, and you know, it's marginal gains. You know, you put, you put a few things together. Uh, Max uh, has also been incredible in, uh, in, in, in adding a little bit to the business, of course. And, and suddenly we are back uh, into the game. Uh, fighting for the wins. Uh, at first, we we were unsure if it was only for one race or for <laughs> two races, but now I think it's quite clear that we have enough performance to fight uh, for the win at at, uh, at, at the races. So, um, so uh, we will still take it race by race, and we will still, with your help, try to unlock a bit more. We are not stopping there, uh, but it's an exciting end of the season. I think it's a great parallel. We heard Clay talk on stage about Oracle Cloud infrastructure and all of the improvements you have to make every single day and then start to see some big gains. Fantastic. I just also want to do, we're going to do a little product placement here. We have our, our, our tag watches. A, a little, I don't know if we can get that on the camera. Um, yours is very, it's very sporty here. So we're, we've got the uh, the square. Here we are. Uh, let's see, how do we do no, I don't know. There, side, we there we go. There we go. Okay. All right, all right. All right. We got there it. We got go. it. All right. Little product placement. They will be very happy. They will be very happy. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay. Looking, looking forward a little bit to 2026, we've got some uh, a major turning point with new engine regulations and Red Bull building its own power unit in-house. What can you share on the progress uh, that fans might expect? You know, at first, please allow me to, to say it's the most crazy challenge in modern F1 history uh, for, for a team to go and decide to create your own power unit from zero. We didn't buy you know, an existing power unit manufacturers. We, we just said over there in that field, we are going to uh, develop, invent, produce uh, our future power unit. And, and we, we couldn't do it uh, without, obviously we have done it, we are, we are doing it in, in collaboration with Ford, but we could not do it without, without Oracle and without OCI. I'll give you a simple example. When this started, you know, uh, a few years ago, when the project started to go and build that power unit to be ready for the 2026 regulations, um, we didn't have a building, we didn't have any test bench, we didn't have any infrastructure yet, but we already had the need to start to design, to start to invent to the shape of the combustion chamber, the shape of the turbo, the shape of how that engine was going to burn. And, and we managed to have uh, a very early jump start, thanks to you guys, because without any of these in place, we could already um, have um, rely on the OCI infrastructures and start to do the CFD simulations we needed to do on the cloud, thanks to, uh, to you guys. And to this date, we have, we have kept that infrastructures where uh, all the combustion chamber design, all the turbo design is being, is being done thanks to, uh, to the OCI. Great. Well, we're looking forward to it. Now, uh, this is AI world, so we got to talk about AI here. We, we've heard that you've brought AI directly to the pit wall to assist your engineers making decisions during the race. Why is this so important? You know, we, um, we 
Formula One is, is effectively a virtual world. Um, as much as we as we like to watch the show on, on TV, the reality is that we we invent our car, we develop our car all in a virtual world, um, and and that's models, that's algorithms, and we try to, to replicate um, and and to to try to get as close as possible of what's happening at the racetrack. And then we get our fix of real life every two weeks. We go racing. That's the real life data point that we cannot ignore. And in that context, AI is everywhere. And, and one of the huge benefits we are having with, with the partnership with Oracle is that you guys are the best at what you do. You look at the problem we are trying to solve from a completely different angle, and, and you are challenge, challenging us in saying, well, you know, you, you are trying to fix that. How about looking at it in that, in that way? And, and you are certainly accelerating how much we rely on AI, 360 degrees. Now, to your example, yes, even on the pit wall, you know, imagine you have this huge amount of data. Sooner or later, they need to be channeled to one single simple point. Somebody will talk to the drivers and will tell him we go left or we go right or we pit stop, we, we do the pit stop now or, or, or we, or we uh, uh, give that positions back and, and so forth and so on. And, and, and we, have ma we have developed together many, many AI tools that allow us to navigate the uh, complexity of of multi-dimensional set of regulations, financials, technical, sporting, plus a huge number of on-track events that have been judged in the past, and we put all that into our AI models and try to get the, 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 the best summary for our people on the pitfall that needs to make the call. All right. It's been working really well so far in, in, in this part of the season. Now, I don't know if people know that we also work together with our finance and human capital management applications, fusion uh, applications, um, and building a unified platform for HR-related functions. What benefits do you see this bringing to your team? You know, um, as much as it's about technology, Formula One uh, is, is about people. You, you, you win and lose with your people. Uh, it's the biggest capital, it's the biggest assets we have. And, and everything we do all day is try to put our people at the, at the heart of the projects, try to make sure that they have everything they need uh, in order to perform at the best of their talent. And in that context, uh, you know, the applications we are, we are using from Oracle, they, they allow us to do exactly that. They allow us to, to uh, have the best people management possible, have the best uh, career intersections between all of our people in order to retain our best talents and in order to attract the next best, best talents. Well, if you need any of my input on Max's uh, performance review, 360 degree performance review, I'm happy to provide some input on that. Um, <laughs> your, path, to to that. <laughs> your path to CEO is very different than Christian's was. You brought years of engineering experience into your role. How has that shaped your approach to leading the team at the highest level of motorsport? You know, I think, I think, I don't think it would be right to think that there is only uh, one background that can lead to, to any positions, in fact. Uh, and, and, and I think we all come with, with, with different experience. It is, it is true to say that the sport is by far the most complex sport on the planet. And, and even if we already consider it a, a, a complex sport, it's probably very little. We, you know, we let people see very, very little of the real complexity of the sport. And it's, it's, uh, it's certainly, for me, it has certainly been an advantage uh, to have that technical background in, in the interactions we have uh, with the team uh, in dealing with the complexity, not in participating to resolving the issues, because that's the job of the teams. And, and, and they are doing that in a, in a, in a fantastic way. Uh, but simply to, to, to understand how to best support the team, so simply to ensure that the team is put in the best conditions to, uh, to perform their, uh, their task and to express their talents. Well, we're, we're live today, October 15th. In a few days, we have the race in Austin. We got a sprint race and then the race on Sunday. Can you give us any insights what we can look forward to? You know, look, um, it, it's been a very, very exciting time. Now we, uh, after after the shutdown, after the summer break, what we call the shutdown here, we, we uh, Max has been second in Zandvoort, he won Monza, he won Baku, and he's been uh, last week second in Singapore. So, obviously, uh, you know what seemed to be an isolated uh, success is now is now showing us that the car is competitive. 
uh, so we expect to be uh, able to fight for the top positions uh, in Austin. It doesn't mean that you get it, uh, because it's going to be once again a matter of marginal gains. You know, our, our sport is, is crazy, and we are talking about 0.01% between sure. success and failure. Uh, but, uh, but we think we'll be in the fight. Okay. Uh, and that's uh, nice to go to a race weekend without knowing which uh, team or which driver is going to win. All right, well, I'm going to be there cheering you guys on, as always. We so. hope you will come to the racetrack. I, and, I, I, and I will us. be there. I will all be right, there. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Thank Laurent. You.